Mota exclusive dimensional being Kai with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about your family is not your family. And I don't mean to say this in a way as far as your family members don't fuck with you. I mean to say it's on a spiritual perspective. So for all the disclaimers, this ain't got nothing to do. Well, this could lead up to certain expectations that may play out into this aspect. But at the end of the day, we are all just spirits and bodies sharing a space and location. That's it. That is all. We have our own genesis. We have our own circumference. <clears throat> we have our own space and location. We have our own light. That means we don't share a possibility of being in the same space. We may resonate in the same space, but take this into consideration. When you go to sleep, you don't go in your family member's dreams. And when your family member goes to sleep, they don't come in your dreams. Remember that shit. We have our own independent space and location. Remember reality. Fucking hemisphere. Understand, understand that. Once you know that shit, you will know we all separate. We are not the same. Just because you share a bloodline with your family, with one of your family members or your relatives, that does not make, that don't make anything as a relative as these are family members. Yeah, physical family members, yes, because y'all share the same bloodline as far as physical representations. And that don't always mean any, that don't always mean anything needed to, because at the end of the day, you can have one family member that may have a different kind of blood hemisphere. You got another family member that share another different kind of blood hemisphere. Because remember, to be from the same space and location, you got to same you got to share the same heritage. So now for the disclaimers too. See the reason why I say we are not the same is because everybody think differently. You have some family members that's willingly ready to basically take different routes in their life and you got some family members that want to be stagnated and you got some family members that just lost so that don't mean we the same yeah we seem to sh we share the same blood but we're not the same as in our own perspective and our own individualistic ways and in our own independent ways everybody is different in their own aspect feel me understand and understand that now take the taking this into consideration you have a spiritual family, which we share the same space and locations, the same ideas, the same routines and patterns. And you have a physical family, which you're just a spirit in the body experiencing an astral travel. And you was born through a specific individualistic family. Remember, your spiritual family is spread it out. For me, they not some some. It's a possibility as in some family members can be born in the same physical family member and they say this and they share the same spiritual spectrums. And sometimes that don't always mean that way. <clears throat> you got to understand and understand that shit. Some of these people that you was born into as far as as a family member, a physical family member, you probably, you probably just be your um, next door neighbors in the spiritual realm. Feel me? That's it. That's all. That don't mean that at the end of the day, these are your fan members. For me, everybody's different. Everybody don't think the same. Everybody act out accordingly. So that's where you fuck up at. So also, it goes deep because <clears throat> even in your past life, you could have shared a relationship with one of these family family members that you was born in. As at a point, as at a point where they could have been like, for instance, your enemy. Y'all could have had beef. Y'all could have had issues and shit like that. So being that y'all was so close and, and um, narrow into that space and location, supposedly you could have killed somebody. You could have killed one of that person you was beefing with as far as them basically resonating with that perspective. And of course, they could have basically drowned you and put you in circumstances situations of having guilt and worry to the point that the person you kill is in this room in reality, in this world. So... Being that y'all shared a particular connection, a close bond connection as far as you, as far as transformation, because when you have family members, you go, you see transformation, you go through transformation and people leave you, they leave you blindsided and you basically be emotionally attached to them. So with that being said, it plays out as into you basically being born as in that person relative, as far as the person that you kill in your previous lifetime could be your mother or your father. Or it could be your sibling and shit. That's how it play out. So it goes very deep, though. 
to the point as to where certain family members treat you differently. They treat you like shit. They don't treat you right. They treat you separately or you could basically be be the black sheep of the family too. You could have been somebody that basically executed their whole entire family to the point you just killed them all in a previous lifetime. Now, boom. Now, now when you die, they're already fully developed. So, basically, you're born into that family that you basically killed. So, it goes real deep. So, now, of course, that's why you could be the black sheep or people don't look at you as far as, like, you family members or, or you connected. And they just treat you like you were foreign, like, like you basically a guest or some shit. That's how it play out, too. So, it goes very deep, though. That's how it, it, it will play out into that spectrum. Feel me? So, yeah, when we're talking about spiritual family and physical family, you do not need to be mixing these shits together. That don't mean shit, feel me? And even society told you to basically believe into that and think like that because basically society mind fucked a whole lot of people. If society got motherfuckers trapped. They, these motherfuckers don't know shit. These motherfuckers is lost, feel me? They're they just looking at things in one's perspective. But when you go within and you see things, how it truly play out, then you will understand and understand and realize how these things are basically take shape and form into your life. And it will start to make sense. And you won't be lost. You'll be like, oh, yeah, this is just a person that I share a space and location with. And that is it. And that is all. So, yeah, so you you may be, in, you may be into a family that treats you differently or treats you in ways you don't, <clears throat> don't want to basically be treated into. So that's just something that you need to understand and understand. And that's the whole purpose of separating, of separating yourself with certain family members, and certain families don't see you in your in their best interest as far as relatives or relationships and shit like that. So it goes very deep. So you got to understand and understand that there's two sides to the story, spiritual and soul wise. So once you understand and understand that, you will understand and understand that, okay, boom, certain people, places, and things you do not need to be basically interacting with as far as family members, family on the deeper bond of legend, as far as where you can trust certain individuals individuals and shit. Some family members be downright lost into society and shit. And basically it goes deep to the point like you could be like even it takes place it takes place in age too. Like you can basically be spiritually old and basically you come into a realm of reality where your family is physically older than you. But they just spiritually um young because family I mean, they just they could be still developing as far as on a spiritual basis. But that's why I always play on to the um, kids being smarter than the parents and shit, too. And that's another reason why you shouldn't listen to your parents, because your parents can be telling you one thing. But at the end of the day, this is your life. This is your perspective. And basically, some people, they got their own life path. And depending on how they vibrate, that'll basically determine whether or not they're ready to basically take this shit into consideration. So you do not need to basically be telling people. I mean, it's one thing they raised you and took care of you, bathed you, fed you, clothed you. And did all that good shit. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> when we're talking about career and life goals and perspectives as far as what we see see each other's in future references, this is, this is something that, that's basically dependent on, depend on, on you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going to school as far as interactions despite certain bullshit that they teach you in school versus the real shit that you need to know. But, you know, interaction, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that too. So you can see where you're going and basically... Learn how to develop and interact with people on a general ledger. But when we're talking about um, that perspective, that's how it would take, take shape and form. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you do not need to be getting lost into this perspective as far as how people in your family, or uh, whether they agree with you on certain things, and that's how it play out. So for certain family members can agree upon you. Certain family members may not agree upon you. That's how it takes place in form, too. Also, this play out with the energy. So, you need to understand and understand that. And once you know this shit, you will know exactly how, why and how shit's supposed to basically happen into your life. And that's real shit. <clears throat>